Welcome back to another video on Mr. Junior Dev. Today I'm going to be talking about procrastination. And yes, we all procrastinate. We all human beings. We all imperfect. That's in our very nature. So I'm procrastinating right now, making this video. Actually, no, I'm actually just taking a five minute break. So I want to give you guys some advice on how to fight procrastination. I'm going to give you five ways on how to fight procrastination. So the first way, get rid of all distractions. And I mean, friends, family, sorry to say, but if they need to distract you, that's just another way to procrastinate. That's just another reason. They're giving you another reason to procrastinate. Friends, family, notifications, turn off your notification settings on LinkedIn on your email, uh, turn off your phone, turn off all distractions, take away all distractions, anything that might distract you, distract your focus. It's nothing new. Um, I'm guilty of procrastinating a lot of the time. So yeah, uh, things that used to bother me a lot or take my, take away my focus on doing my daily tasks was like my mobile device as well as people uh, back home, friends. Yeah, there, there are a lot of distractions around. So try and uh, limit the distractions as much as, as much as you can. If there are distractions that aren't within your control, then just try to focus and do the work. Like for instance, is, if there's noise in the background that's not within your control, what you can do is you can just put on earmuffs or something similar, similar to that to block out the noise. So the second thing that I do to stop, to try and stop uh, pro procrastinating is I uh, use the something called the Pomodoro Technique. I'm sure a lot of you are aware of the Pomodoro Technique. So I sit down, do my work for 25 minutes. I focus on the screen or I focus on whatever I'm doing for a full 25 minutes. And then once those 25 minutes are up, then I take a five minute break. So I do this in an hour, in hour intervals. So basically I, I take that hour, I split it into four 25 minute intervals. Like right now I'm taking my break. It's going to be a little over five minutes, but this is just an example of what I do. Make a video or whatever you be. Um, yeah, just to break away from the work because you need to have a break. Um, it's it's not normal to always work. Uh, your body needs to rest. So try and take away distractions, eliminate distractions that prevent you, that cause procrastination. Number two is to use the Pomodoro technique. Number three get in exercise because in order for your brain to function normally you need regular exercise believe it or not you need physical activity to get the blood flowing to your brain so if you've ever noticed when you work for very long periods of time on let's say a project and then s s sometimes you'll just hit hit a blank You'll, you'll basically just black out and you'll wake up and you'll feel like what's, what's going on? Why did I black out? Something is not right. This, you'll feel like you cannot complete a project or solve a problem because you're basically just blacking out. So the reason for that is because you're not getting enough exercise. It could be exercise. It could be what you eat as well, but it's most of, most of the time it's uh, due to a lack of exercise look what what you eat does affect uh, your levels of concentration but not as much as exercise does exercise has a huge impact on uh, your thought process and the way you learn your ability to learn so exercise uh, is very very important so that's number three Number four, uh, you need to integrate uh, healthy foods into your diet, such as fruits and vegetables, 
and I know a lot of us eat junk food, myself included, but every now and again I go on a fruit based diet. I try to detox. It's, it's the foods you eat and detoxify your body and sometimes um, drink a lot of water as well because what happens is your diet is very, very important. If you always eating junk food and your body always feels fulfilled, it's less likely to perform a task because it's being rewarded. So your body responds to, to that reward. So if you can uh, limit certain foods and try to make it more reward, reward based on a reward basis, I think you will be more productive and there will be less procrastination and then the fifth way to stop procrastinating is to eliminate unnecessary tasks from your life so if you have a certain task that you are doing or something that you're doing that is not productive uh, or doesn't help doesn't benefit your life in any way some unnecessary um, task or thing that you do that is not productive towards your life then rather eliminate it because that's you're just gonna save time so yeah and I'm not saying like eliminate now your friends and stuff no you need that because that's also part of being happy and um, being healthy but I mean um, don't don't do it on a regular basis only do it when you need it so it's sort of like on a reward basis so similar to that of the food that you eat try and eliminate the tasks that are cluttering your life and that are unnecessary in your life and that just deter your attention away from the problem that you need to solve or the work that you need to get done make your life simple simple life is the best life and uh, yeah the five ways to stop procrastinating in my view so i hope you guys found this video informative and i hope to see you guys in the next video peace out